Do you have any other ways to promote your t-shirts, like besides Amazon ads? You know, the only other way that I've had some success with promoting my shirts is I also do some blogging. I have a couple websites that yeah. um, I I also uh, run on the side. Um, these are websites where I'm creating like informational content around a niche. And um, so I'm, I'm publishing articles about about a topic. And I've actually had some success by using my putting in my my T-shirts if they apply to that niche into some of my blog articles into onto my website. Um, and then, you know, if somebody reads that article and they see, I'll give you an example, like say if I, say if I had a website about pets and it was about terrier, terrier dogs, the terrier dog breed, right? Yeah, so yeah. I've got articles all about terrier dog breeds, you know, toys and what they eat and questions people ask, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm building an audience or a targeted audience of their terrier dog owners. Well, then I might create a print on demand shirt through merch that says, you know, terrier mama or terrier daddy. And it's got a, you know, yeah. a, a Yorkshire terrier on it. And I could put that on my website and then it doesn't cost me anything. And, but I have, now I have somebody who's already interested in terriers, right? Cause they're on my site and they, they might be a terrier owner. And then they see that and they say, Oh wow, that's adorable. You know, they click it. They have yeah. the trust of Amazon, right? Cause everybody trusts Amazon it takes them to that Amazon listing and they and they buy a shirt. So um, I've had some pretty good success with that. And I think there's a ton of potential there. Um, I'm sort of just starting to kind of get into that. But that's the only other way I've I've been able to get any kind of traffic towards my listings. I don't do any other social media promotion or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that's a, that's a great tip. And that's something I've not really heard anyone talk about. Um, but it makes sense because you've built an audience and they... Yeah. So the conversion rate would be way higher if they then yep. after reading you for a while or reading your content for a while, see a t-shirt that perfectly fits them. So that's a really great idea. And um, you, you said you only just recently started promoting your shirts that way, right? So um, what did you do with blogging beforehand? Like how did you monetize it? Or Yeah. Yeah. So the blogs, um, I actually got into the blogs from when the, during the pandemic, when Amazon shut down the North American production. And there was like two months there where merch was closed. I think this yeah. was in early 2020, I believe. Yeah, you're correct. Um, and I thought, man, I need to figure something else out, you know? So I, I had heard about blogging and just did some research on it. And basically how I generate money with blogs is just with informational content and mainly with, um, mainly with ads and affiliate marketing. So anytime you're able to build a, an audience, right? If I can build an audience about, you know, pets and terrier dogs on a website, people will pay to put ads on there. Um, there's Google AdSense, and then there's a bunch of other ad marketplaces like Azoic, Mediavine, and AdThrive, where you can apply with them and you say, hey, I've got my site here. I've got this much traffic. Can I you know, work with you as a brokerage to put ads on my site. And they set it all up and they just run these ads. And if you've been on any site and you've seen ads in the content as you're kind of scrolling in Windows, that's what it is. I mean, it's it's very similar to ads on the YouTube channel and, you know, sidebars and things like that. So um, primarily with ads, and then you can, you can recommend products in your content, right? And they can recommend, you know, doggy toys and leashes and doggy services and all these different things and get affiliate revenue. So, um, that's that's another one of my little side hustles that I've I've sort of built up, yeah. and I think there's a lot of like I said opportunity with print on demand there to match match over some products and recommend some things, and um, it's a it's another just a, a, another way that you can make some money online. Yeah, yeah, it makes makes a lot of sense, and it might be useful for people who uh, may have thought about starting a YouTube channel but don't like showing their face because you can just write yes. that information on the internet without having to show yourself right where does the traffic mainly come from like do people find you from google or mm -hmm. um yeah how do you basically get people to your site because yeah new, i'm guessing that's quite hard that is hard that's the hardest part that's that's a yeah. great question um most of the time with the the blogging model i'm talking about where you're using you're you're posting and, and writing informational content you're you're relying on organic google traffic right yeah. so this is people who type in you know uh, best dog food for terriers, right? And then yeah. your article comes up and it's like, I'm going to review 10 of the best dog foods for terriers. And they click on your link. That's organic traffic. It's really hard to get 
Um, it requires you to write good content. That's what Google is is promoting. They're they're saying, hey, we're going to show you this site in the search results because we think it's good content. And yeah. if you know a niche and you put in some research and you and you and you are good at writing, it's a fantastic way to build up an audience on a site that you own and control without having to show your face. Like you just said, if you don't like to do that, you don't want to do YouTube. Mm. It's an amazing opportunity out there. Um, it still has its challenges and pros and cons like anything else, but I primarily rely on organic traffic. There are people that, um, that there's other ways you can drive traffic from social media. You can mm. drive traffic from like Pinterest and you can even use ads, but those are just different models. I don't have a lot of experience with those, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. If you're good at writing or editing or outsourcing writing and, and creating content and you like to kind of, you know, put your words on the screen or on paper, so to speak, yeah, you can, yeah. you can really, um, there's a ton of opportunity out there in that field. If anyone's watching now and they're thinking this sounds interesting to me, I like writing and I like the idea of affiliate marketing and putting ads on my side. How would they, how would they start blogging? Like what sort of website would you recommend going to, to start with that? Yeah. So most of the blogs that are online and, and people that use this business model that I'm talking about use WordPress, which yeah. has been around for a long time. And you can create a free um, WordPress website or buy a, buy a domain and get some hosting. Um, so if somebody's starting out, you know, don't think that you need to have, uh, you know, web design skills or some kind of deep technical knowledge. There's basically businesses and platforms and templates out there that that kind of put it all together for you. And you can get started for very, very cheap. I think you can get hosting for as cheap as, you know, five or $6 a month. You can buy a domain for, you know, $10 a year. Um, and then other than that, you just really need your time, you know, to, to write yeah. some stuff. So, um, you know, we could probably do a whole nother separate video on this as well, but I, you know, get yeah. on YouTube and do a little bit of research on, you know, starting a blog. You'll see there's a lot of, you know, helpful resources out there. And just like anything else, try and learn a little bit, just take it one step at a time. But, mm -hmm. um, there, there is some, some great opportunities for, for blogging, um, for people that want to do something, something else. And, and the good thing about blogging and starting a, a site is that you don't have to get uh, approval from merch by Amazon or, your account approved by anyone. I mean, it's literally going to be your domain. You would own it, right? If you started yeah. it. So it's a long, it's a long game, but if you can build and grow your own traffic, it can be great. If you enjoyed that clip, then click here to watch the full episode of Print On Demand Wisdom.